In the heart of Leicestershire lies the ever-growing and often bustling market town of Lutterworth, a town which can certainly tell a story or two. At some point in our lives, many of us have been lucky enough to fly on a jet-propelled aircraft, all thanks to Sir Frank Whittle, who created and went on to develop the jet engine. Born on the 1st of June 1907 in Ladywood, Coventry, Sir Frank Whittle first became fascinated by flight when he encountered an aircraft close up after it made an emergency landing on the common near his home. After years of study and fascination with the sciences, in particular aircraft engineering, Sir Frank had developed an idea for a gas turbine that he was certain could propel an aircraft. While Sir Frank was an apprentice at RAF Cranwell, his exceptional intelligence began to flourish. After many disappointments, Whittle was finally accepted as a cadet and had a chance of fulfilling his initial dream of becoming a pilot. He flew solo in 1927, going on to become an excellent and, at times, fearless pilot. For as much as Whittle loved flying, it was the science and theory behind flight that dominated his thoughts. For his end-of-term thesis, he wrote an essay entitled Future Developments in Aircraft Design. His thesis theorised about how he disagreed with the Air Ministry's opinion on how a gas turbine was impractical to power an aircraft. This was the beginning of a revolution in aviation technology, and it changed Whittle's life. Eventually, in 1935, Power Jets Limited was set up to develop Sir Frank Whittle's engine. Sir Frank couldn't wait to get started and prove that his theories and calculations were correct. BTH in rugby was the company that Whittle approached to complete design drawings to his own specifications of an experimental engine. Much of the design work had been completed by the end of 1936, they were allowed to carry out testing on BTH's premises, but because of dangerous occurrences and near misses, BTH decided to move power jets operations to their disused foundry at Ladywood Works in Lutterworth, where development of the jet engine resumed in 1938. The incredible noise generated during the testing created quite a stir. No one knew exactly what was going on in the old buildings and various rumours did the rounds. One in particular about a group of Irish who were supposedly producing bombs for the IRA. What is fascinating about Sir Frank is the amount of times he was turned away. People continued to get in his way, but no matter what, his determination prevailed. It was in Lutterworth that the jet engine really began to take shape and from then on went from strength to strength. Sir Frank had a hard start facing poverty and a strict RAF regime, and through most of his life faced many obstacles that he had to overcome. But if he hadn't been as determined as he was, it very well may still take weeks to get to America. So Lutterworth has helped you reach your destination, be it Sydney, Australia, or Glasgow in Scotland. If it takes your fancy when you arrive at your hotel room, you can find spiritual guidance in the Gideon's Bible, pretty much found in every hotel around the globe. The fact that you don't have to be fluent in Latin is very much down to the persistence of John Wycliffe, who encouraged the first translation of the Bible. And without his support, it would not have been possible. St Mary's Church in Lutterworth is a beautifully cared for building. Its graveyard knows of many tales of the past, John Wycliffe was wrecked here between 1374 and 1384. Nothing can be certain about John Wycliffe's early life because of the lack of detailed records. Welcome to Wycliffe's church. This was uh, the church that uh, he was given the living of in 1374 for services rendered to the crown. Uh, he didn't really uh, come full time until... Uh, some years later. It's highly likely that he was master of Balliol College, Oxford, where he trained to study, question and argue. In the window there is a picture of Wycliffe and there. So he's very important 
uh, person uh, in our church because he uh, translated or caused to have the translation of the Bible from uh, the Latin into what they call Midland English. But uh, no doubt it was his curate and others who actually did the translation work. On December the 28th, 1384, John Wycliffe suffered a stroke whilst at Mass and was carried out of St Mary's Church through this door. He died that New Year's Eve. His work during life caused that many waves within the church that they had his body exhumed and burned and thrown into the River Swift here. Many have perhaps driven by Lutterworth's subtle yet somewhat grand town hall. They might have even driven by in an icon of London City Roads, the Hansom Cab, which was designed by Joseph Hansom, who also built one of the town's centrepieces. This rather special building which Hampson designed in 1836 was originally built as a butter market. The town hall now hosts numerous community events and business functions as well as being a regular practice venue for Lutterworth's town band. Lutterworth has always been a centre point for much of the area's history. Not to say some of the surrounding area has not been a sidekick in placing Lutterworth on historic Britain's map. Frank Whittle's jet engine might not have even been conceived if it hadn't been for Percy Pilcher, who built the first powered flying machine in the 1890s. But he died from his injuries soon after the tail of his hawk glider snapped whilst flying in windy conditions at Stanford Hall, a spectacular 1690s stately home close to Lutterworth. Believe it or not, Magna Park was once a bustling aerodrome playing its part in the battle for World War II victory. It is now Europe's biggest distribution centre. So in the past, the town of Lutterworth provided a major contribution into ensuring Europe's freedom from the Nazi regime. Another airfield close by is Bruntingthorpe Aerodrome, which was a major hub during the Second World War, used by the US Air Force as a base for their heavy bomber aircraft. The site is now frequently used to put supercars and prototype vehicles through their paces. Lutterworth is a growing market town, which is a tapestry of our country's rich heritage. The world we live in today could have been a very different place if it wasn't for some of the folk who worked and resided here in Lutterworth.